shoot. I'm late. Hi, I'm Spencer Kern and welcome to Off the Dome with Spencer Kern. Uh, this is the very first show, so uh, this is a big moment for me and everyone involved. Uh, you may not know it yet, but this show will change the course of television history. How, you might ask? Well, never has a host been so unprepared or unready to host a show, you know? Because I'm, I'm late right now. This is the first show and I'm late, so that's just getting off on a bad note. But, you know... We've got, I'm just gonna do me because I don't really fit the talk show host persona, you know? So just get a good look because this is what you're gonna get for the next 20 minutes. Over there is my good friend, Xiao. Uh, he's gonna be our co-host for our festivities. How are you doing, Xiao? <laughs> cool, all right, you doing good? You do you, fam. Uh, I'm gonna do me. Uh, so today we got a great show for you. We've got uh, a talk show uh, kind of with, uh, dating advice, we've got a game show, and we've got uh, current events. So let's get right into it. Welcome to current events. Uh, this is a uh, kind of new segment where we'll cover a wide variety of topics with the Spencer Twist. To start off, guess who we're talking about? You guessed it, Donald Trump following his controversial election win. Trump was recently in the news for removing himself from his businesses. Trump University students claim this happened 20 years ago. <laughs> This removal was most likely due to the stress of learning that the president requires Congress's permission to declare war on Mexico. <laughs> Former presidential candidate Dr. Ben Carson will become the Secretary of Housing and Urban Development, but Carson originally claimed to tell President-elect Trump that he was not interested in serving the administration. This was because he feels he lacks experience to have a position in the cabinet. Remember though, this is coming from a man who originally ran for president. <laughs> Former presidential candidate Hillary Clinton criticizes the amount of fake news that is spread across social media today. I agree with you, but I also read on Twitter that you and Obama are secretly flesh-eating lizards, so I don't exactly trust anything you say. Visionary and national treasure Kanye West has canceled the St. Pablo tour and was hospitalized after outcry during a performance. When asked about how Kanye West is doing, wife Kim Kardashian responded, I am still recovering from the Paris incident. Thank you for asking. <laughs> The 59th Annual Grammy Award nominees have been released. That's the punchline because any event that has Drake in the running for Album of the Year is a joke. <laughs> the Chicago Bears are not doing as well as their Chicago sports counterpart, the Chicago Cubs, who finally won a World Series. The Bears with a 3-10 record. The only possible solution to this hole the Bears have dug themselves into is our Lord and Savior, Rex Grossman. Sexy Rexy, it's time to come home. Give me a call. I'll get you the tryout. <laughs> The White Sox are truly in a rebuilding phase, trading away Chris Sale just a few days ago. I'm fine with the trade. The Southsiders are only trying to prove to Chicago that there are still two professional baseball teams in town. <laughs> More controversy has arose over the bathroom bill. 60% of transgender Americans claim to have avoided using public restrooms because of fear of confrontation. But you know, for me, I just kind of go wherever I want, whenever I want. <laughs> A group of 20 co-workers in Tennessee have just won a lottery jackpot of $421 million through an office pool. After going to collect the money, all 20 died in a horrific bus bombing, with the sole heir for all of them being Spencer Kern. 73-year-old <laughs> Rolling Stones frontman Mick Jagger is going to be a father for the eighth time the baby is due in July, to which Jagger will take the baby and absorb its youth. <laughs> When Jagger's 29-year-old partner was asked about what she saw in him, she said, I always liked history class. <laughs> Netflix recently updated a feature that allows users to watch some of their favorite shows offline, so now my dad doesn't have to kill me every time I watch Good Luck Charlie in school for seven straight hours. <laughs> well, that's all the current events we have for you today. Please stay tuned as we take the halls of Nequa Valley for some questions I had on my mind. Hi, I'm Spencer Kern. I'm here in Average American High School, and I've got some quick questions. <laughs> Spell I-cup. <laughs> I-C-U-P. 
What did you just say to me? What did you say? I C U P. I don't think you want to tussle. <laughs> Have you seen my dad? No. Because he said he was going to the store real fast for some cigarettes. Like, that was, what, 2004? He's not coming back. You ever eat poo before? Uh, no. Just try it. Um, I don't know. Hey, don't knock it before you try it, fam. I mean, sure, I guess I'll give it a try. What's your credit card number? Uh, I don't think I can give you that information. You ever hit a croissant before? What? You ever hit a croissant before? Yeah! What's wrong with you? It's hey! Uh, yeah, come on in. Hey, no, you don't need to do that, bro. You all right. gotta put this in the video. I have to. It's most definitely necessary. Right. What are you eating here? Watermelon. Yeah, go for it. I'm not gonna have any. You like that, didn't you? It was good, wasn't it? You hit the spot. What's the lowest ply of toilet paper you've ever used? Full ply. You know, see, I just use my hand. It saves money. <laughs> so, like, I just use my left hand. He clowning, but so, it's not going nowhere. I already know. Yeah. That. Does your grandma have a Tinder? I didn't know. Would she want to make a Tinder? Uh, maybe. I mean, could happen. Do you think that your grandma would super like me on Tinder? Uh, no. Hey, you should get my, um... This lean, bro. Oh, What's your like Louis Vuitton belt buckle? You see it? <laughs> hey, look at this, bro. Look at this, bro. He got a lean. Oh, the okay. day I don't oh, wear a belt. It? Look. The so day look. I don't wear a belt. Oh, the day no, I don't wear a belt. I can't even look. Hey, I can still play. I mean, $250. Pay. Dollars, pay. Yeah, Point blank cash. Money. Nothing but blank. Like, 600. Uh, 600. Hey, I mean, my cup. I got the blame. You already know. I got the belt. Hey, look the lean, bro. The lean in his cup, and it's spilling out. He don't even care about it no more. He's spilling out. See, okay. What what's your uh, social security number? Five three five four. Is it in the full? I, th I think it's like eight digits. It's, it's like four, eight three two one. Right do you know they can get it? Did he get? Did he get anything that you have to your name? That's my cell phone number. We look similar enough, right? Yeah. Could you pretend to be me in federal state prison for the next forty four years? Um. I'm going to definitely have to say no to that one. Welcome back to Off the Dome with Spencer Kern. Uh, for the next segment, we've got a quiz show going on here. Uh, it's going to be called Spencer's Survey. Uh, let me welcome our two guests, Ashna and Gareth. Woo! How are you doing today? Very good. I'm always good. Oh, that's great. All right. Well, here's how the game works. Uh, I'm going to each ask you a question of this, generally the same topic. Uh, if you get the question right, you get five points. If you get the question wrong, you get negative five. So uh, the winner will receive a uh, brand new uh, Ford Bronco. In fact, the same Bronco that O.J. Simpson rode around in. Yes, I love O.J. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, let's start off with our first question uh, for Ashna. What city is Batman from? Gotham. Oh, very nice, very nice. Let's give her a round of applause. All right, our next question for Gareth. How much money did it cost to film the Batman movie, The Dark Knight? I, I don't know, like $200 million? Give it your best shot. Yeah, $200 million. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, the answer was $180 million. Uh, I rounded up. This is common knowledge, and we're gonna have to say uh, <gasps> no. All right, so after one exact. question, the score is now five to negative five with Ashna in the lead. Okay, All right, good, let's ask good. the next question now. Uh, if there is 10 apples and you eat four, and you multiply that number by two, what do you get? 12. Very nice. Let's give her a round of applause, people. Very smart. Very smart. All right, next question's for Gareth. 
Say you now are shipping these apples to Tokyo and you have to add on a shipping fee of 21 cents per apple and the plane travels at 400 miles an hour at an altitude of 13,000 feet, then what is the capital city of Guatemala? Guatemala City, baby. Oh my God. We got a true legend here. Let's give him a round of applause. What is that? I'm a bit of a genius. It's, it's, I mean. it's a fantastic question, but we're really going to have to ramp up the pace with you if that's common knowledge. All right. <laughs> Ashna, how long is the president's term in the U.S.? Four years. Oh, very right, very right. Let's give a round of applause, people. That's very smart, very smart. All right. How many days are in those four years? Oh, God. Um, well, I'm going to go 1,027. Thousand, you want to give it another shot? Because you're way off. Oh, uh, let's go 2,004. You just made it way worse. The answer was 1,460. I was not way off. All right. That's, that's as off as you can get it. All right. Okay. Ashna with the divisive lead right now. Name three colors in the rainbow. Twelve is red, blue, and yellow. Wow. We got real smarticle on our hands. Let's give a round of applause. All right, I'm not clapping. What are you bunk, man? That's right. All right. This one should be easy for you. What is my favorite color? I don't know. I don't know you. Um, yeah, you do. Uh, red? <laughs> nah, it's actually olive. Olive. Olive is a, it's olive. a vegetable. That's not a color. All right, whatever, whatever. I'm you just down. don't know me enough. All right. <sighs> Score is getting worse for you, Gareth. All right. Give me some easier questions. Ashna, what sport did Babe Ruth play? Baseball. Wow, very nice, very nice. This one should be right up your alley too, Gareth. How old would Babe Ruth be if he was still alive today? 122. No, I mean, you're, it was 121 years old. Oh my God. You know. Including this year? It's, yeah. I mean, oh, then. <sighs> yeah, it's just an off day. We all have it. I mean, you're going to lose out on a Ford Bronco, but I, I mean, all we all night. have off days. I studied all night for this. You know. Yeah. All right. Final questions for both of you. This is for all the marbles here. Ashna. What is the element on the periodic table with the symbol O? Oxygen. Wow, very nice. Going perfect on all of the questions. Very nice, very nice. All right, can't say the same for Gareth here with the perfect. But what is the atomic mass of the periodic element Mendelevium? Uh, 217. What grade are you in again, Gareth? I'm a senior in high school, sir. You have the intelligence of a kindergartner. Okay. The answer was 250. You have the looks of a homeless man. Huh? I, can, I can clearly see that. <laughs> All right. Well, at the end of the game, um, it is a decisive victory for Ashna. Uh, your Ford Bronco with OJ Simpson in the back is waiting out front for you. Uh, Gareth, you're just going to have to walk home. Do Thanks for tuning in. Uh, you know, uh, coming up next, we've got a very special segment with a uh, previous fan. Hi, and thanks for staying tuned to Off the Dome with Spencer Kern. Our next segment has a very special person with us. Uh, we have today Brandon Monzel. Uh, welcome to the show, Brandon. Jesus Christ, you need a shower. <laughs> Come on, man. <sighs> How are you today? I am doing fine today. I just need to uh, ask some advice of you. Really? What do you need, bud? Well, uh, I keep getting all these first dates, but uh, the girls never seem to want to stay around for a second date. So. Uh, Hmm, what can that you do could to help be me a out? pickle, yeah. Uh, where do you usually take your first dates? If I'm uh, feeling sensual, I'll take them to the melting pot. Uh, if I'm uh, having a macho kind of night, I'll take them to Sullivan's. Okay. Now, I'm, I'm starting to get a big picture thing here. You are taking them to very, very expensive places. Always with your first date, you got to take them to a very cheap place. You know, usually girls love a place where they can really chow down like Golden Corral or do you take them to get like a meatball sub, you know, guy? Because girls love when a dude can really take down three, uh, three feet of meat. <laughs> well, so, uh, I want them to think I'm wealthy. Well, I can clearly tell you're as broke as they come, but mm. wait. Are you implying that you actually pay for the dates? Yes, of course. Yeah, I don't, 
I haven't paid for a date in a good five years. Girls always get awkward when you pay huge amounts for them, but I don't really feel that way. It's like a reverse sugar daddy scenario. So I usually let them pay for me. And you know, they usually do cheap stuff, so I'll usually get like a McChicken or something. <laughs> and, but the girls always like that. Um, do you usually wear something nice or something? Usually, yeah. See, that's another mistake. See, I usually just go out with a girl wearing only an athletic supporter. Uh, it covers all the areas that you really need to cover. Uh, you don't really need the shirt, you don't need the pants, you don't need the shoes. If you just have the athletic supporter, it covers the goods, it leaves a little to the imagination. That's what a girl's gonna want. Um, hmm. But, I can't seem to figure out what the real problem is here. What do, what do you, th uh, I'd like to know uh, why they keep running away from me. Hmm. Yeah, that's going to that's gonna be a problem. Uh, you're definitely not a bad guy. It's just that you have a lot in common with uh, like, like an ex-convict. <laughs> that's not true. Well, enough about that. How does a date usually end for you? Uh, I, I, sh I shake their hand and tell them I had a great time. Oh my god, you're such an amateur. I don't even know where you're getting these ideas. Here's how you do it. You gotta massage your earlobes. Why would I do that? Okay, listen. This is a good freak. A kind of freak that girls know that anytime they need their earlobes massaged, they can come to you. A girl loves a good earlobe massage. Can I hear it from my ladies in the audience? How, you guys, how many of you guys love a good earlobe massage? Just start clapping, please. Just. Well, the girls I'm with, they like earlobe massages. It's fine, you know. You just gotta find the right girl for you. You ever, you ever get a girl with a good earlobe massage? No. See, so you're looking for the wrong girls then. You're lost. Well, thanks for joining us today, Brandon. I hope you find your special somebody someday. And please don't let it be your cousin. Uh, stay, tuned. <laughs> stay tuned after the break for more Off the Dome. I'm Spencer Kern, host of the hit show Off the Dome with Spencer Kern. I want to talk to you about a serious issue plaguing our children today. Every 45 minutes, a child is exposed to the horrible lifestyle of Ultimate Frisbee. This deadly game has side effects such as smugness, weak arms, a horrible sense of humor, excessive vaping, the thought that you're better than everyone else when in reality you're not, and many others. Please call the number on your screen to help out the American Anti-Ultimate Frisbee Foundation. Just 50 cents a day can help a real child in need play a real sport, such as football, baseball, basketball, or any other sport that isn't Ultimate Frisbee. When you donate, we'll send you a booklet about a child that you helped get out of the stupid scene. So please, call this number now and help put an end to Ultimate Frisbee. Because at the end of the day, Frisbees are for dogs. Thanks for watching the first and hopefully not the last Off the Dome with Spencer Kern. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or just plain insults about my pathetic life and the studio's pathetic life, please email me at offthedome at gmail.com. Tune in next week and we'll hopefully not keep you disinterested for another 20 minutes. Have a great night.